What's going on guys? Astro here with Hidden Profits Crypto. Before we get into today's video, as usual, I want to give a huge thanks to everybody who's been supporting the channel constantly. I really do appreciate you guys a ton. Uh, we're on the road to 5K. Uh, we upload a lot of low cap hidden gems and other great projects like Cadena and Flux. Uh, so if those kind of videos interest you, make sure to hit that sub button and take the notification bell so you guys don't miss out. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, guys, so today uh, we're going to be taking a look at some more information on Defira. Uh, now, it seems to be you guys have a lot of interest in this project, um, and I think, you know, there's a large audience for DFK, so it doesn't surprise me at all that a lot of people are interested in Defira. And since we're still very early with this project, uh, I think there's a ton of potential um, to get in early and, you know, kind of start where maybe you couldn't have started with DFK. Uh, personally, I wish I could have got in uh, to DFK when the heroes were very first dropping, um, which is actually what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, Defira has put out a Medium article on their uh, heroes. Um, now, they did uh, put a tweet out about it um, here. It looks like on the 25th. Um, and they did actually tweet out the Medium article. Now, I'm not exactly sure <laughs> where it went. Uh, it was here. Maybe they deleted it for some sort of reason. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it was supposed to come out 3 p.m. PST, uh, March 25th. Um, I did end up finding the link to the article, which I will put in the description so you guys can, you know, read it or read along or whatever you want to do. Um, but not exactly 100% sure what they did with the tweet uh, that had the article. So uh, if you're looking for that, uh, just go ahead and check the description. Um, but this is the article we're going to go ahead and read through. Um, like we said, it came out on March 25th, so it's only a few days old. Um, but I think there's a lot of good information here about the heroes, how they're going to work, um, some of the rituals to summon other ones as well as Genesis heroes and you can even see here uh, they show kind of what they're going to look like as well as rarities and a few other things so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it so introduction to Defira's heroes the core character system uh, for Defira revolves around our unique NFT heroes this article deep dives into the mechanics behind these heroes who will play a critical role uh, in the Defira verse. So heroes are primeval spirits residing on the mystical plane that underpins the world of Defira. They are not only great warriors and masters of magic, uh, but they also perform the vital jobs that make the world prosperous. They are summoned in a magical wishing ritual by combining the two souls of other heroes. Uh, heroes will be playable inside a variety of game modes and interact with uh, various DeFi features in the Defira verse. Hero genes, stats, abilities are left generic, uh, so they can be composed and used in different game modes. Uh, each game can interpret the stats and progression of the heroes uh, in their own way to fit requirements and gameplay balance. So here is a little example of what these cards are going to look like. Uh, you can see, you know, the border, the character, their name, um, what uh, class they actually are, as well as what race and gender. Uh, so, I, you know, they're moving, so they look pretty nice. Uh, you know, I don't think it's bad, but again, uh, very early here. I'm sure they will change things. Um, they could make them a little bit more, I don't know, flashy uh, maybe, but again, it's still very early. Um, I do think they look pretty great, and, um, you know, there, there's some other things uh, with these heroes that change that we'll look at here in a second. Um, but wishing ritual so to begin the ritual the unique genes of both heroes are combined into a wishing stone the wish count of each ancestor heroes will be decreased but the heroes themselves are not consumed in this process there is no restrictions on gender or race so any two heroes can perform this ritual uh, and this is what the wishing stone will look like uh, the players then use the wishing stones to perform the ritual and create a new unique hero which will be a higher generation higher than their parents so uh, here is something that I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in and that is the Genesis heroes now if we look at the gen zero heroes for DFK um, you know they can go upwards of like 30 grand um, which is pretty insane uh, so it, it'll definitely be interesting to see what kind of value um, these Genesis heroes will hold um, but really we'll just have to see so to bootstrap the wishing and hero generation system the initial batch of heroes known as Genesis heroes can be minted by early adopters of Defira in the Genesis mint event 
uh, we will reveal the exact details of this event in the future article so if you guys aren't already uh, involved in the farms and kind of you know uh, playing around with the project right now in the early days I would definitely suggest to I do have a video on how you guys can get uh, some of your money in the farms and start farming and earning some of the s uh, Fira currency so if you guys want to know how to do that i will throw a card up here you can go ahead and check that out uh you know and then come on back to the vi this video if you want to um but definitely something to check out if you haven't already uh so there will be a hard cap of 10,000 genesis heroes across all chains there will be a limit of 2,000 genesis heroes available in the land of harmonia or the harmony blockchain so they will be doing something similar with having different blockchains being kind of like different expansions so the hard cap will be 10,000 across all those different um, blockchains which um, harmony will just have 2,000 so uh, which will be distributed through the initial lock trank staking lottery and the Genesis mint event so we'll have a little bit more information on that Genesis mint event in the future uh, so you know I will be making a video about that when it comes out so make sure to stay tuned for that uh, Genesis heroes can participate in the wishing ritual without limit uh, but there will be a cost and a cooldown period for each wish heroes are summoned by the wishing Ritual uh, will increase its generation based on uh, their ancestors generation heroes of higher generation will have more limits and higher costs on the wishes they can perform but may have higher stat potential and access uh, to more advanced classes as a trade off. So um, now we're going to go over the classes and the races. So heroes will be functionally and visually distinct from each other, possessing uh, different aesthetic traits such as hair style and eye color. More importantly, however, uh, each hero will belong to a class and race, you know, similar to pretty much any like MMO. Um, but certain races will also have male and female variations. So here's an example kind of of how the different characters uh, are going to look. You know, these are all uh, female characters here, but I really think that they did a great uh, job with the stylization of these, like the armor on these characters. Uh, you know, this one here with this sword and shield looks really dope as well as this one here with these like red kind of like tentacle things. Uh, it just looks like some sort of like assassin or something really badass. So uh, I definitely like the way um, you know they've got this going and these are the different classes for uh, female elves so uh, a hero's class race and gender will have gameplay and mechanical differences so each hero will have their own strengths and weakness weaknesses uh, promoting diversity and an incentive to own multiple heroes so at launch defira heroes will have the following classes so we'll have a knight warrior uh, ranger rogue mage and priest so I would assume here that this is basically uh, just all of those classes right here. You got the knight, the warrior. Um, uh, I, actually, I think this would be like the ranger, uh, probably the mage here, warrior, rogue, and then the priest last. So uh, maybe this one's the priest, but either way, still looks really cool. So these heroes will have uh, will also belong to the following fantasy races so you'll have male and female humans male and female elves uh inus which are like the dog character guys and uh zaru which are these uh monkey dudes i would assume so uh as defira expands there will be unique races and classes that can only be summoned on each new chain so that's really cool uh you know each blockchain will have um specific unique races and classes that's actually pretty dope uh, i don't think dfk does that uh so you know something a little different here uh here is kind of how the hero stats will work i'm not going to go too um in depth with this you guys can just go ahead and read this but there is a little chart here heroes will also have uh rarity levels being c b a s and s s which will be reflected visually on in a hero card rarity levels will also influence hero based stats so here are kind of the the rarities of each uh, card hero based stats will also get a boost from heroes uh, from the heroes generation with higher generation heroes getting additional benefits the blockchain in uh, which a hero is summoned will also be an important factor heroes will get bonuses uh, in games based on their home continent and city so that's really cool and here is something that I actually really really like so your little heroes will actually be able to kind of like move up uh, in tiers and get way cooler looking armor as they go so you know I think this is really really cool it kind of gives an incentive to keep upgrading those heroes instead of just buying it and maybe forgetting that it even exists um, but 
so this is called a uh, hero ascension so defira introduces a unique hero progression system where each hero has a class level between one and five and can increase their class level through uh, the ascension ritual after each ascension the hero will have increased stats and a new visual appearance so here you can see level one two three four and the most dope looking one uh level five so I think this is great character design um, when you know it's something with like um, if you anybody's played World of Warcraft back in the day uh, if you're level one and you just like start off and let's say you're in like the hometown uh, whichever faction that you pick um, you know when you see people who are like max level with just really dope looking armor it makes you want to keep playing and keep progressing um, you, you know yourself through the game so having something like this uh, having a system where you can make your heroes you know progressively better and just looking cooler I think will keep a lot of people uh, interested in the game in a more like long-term fashion uh, so to perform an ascension ritual players must consume the energy of soul gems which are class and race specific nft items uh, so example uh, inu warrior soul gem uh, that can be traded so soul gems are normally attained through the bonding ritual which binds the soul of a hero turning it into soul gems uh, of the specific class and race this ritual is irreversible and the hero is permanently burnt uh, soul gems may also be obtained as in-game rewards such as as through loot boxes now i will say uh, i am not excited to hear the word loot boxes in really anything as a uh, pretty avid video game player uh, i think loot boxes are kind of gimmicky and kind of uh, a rip off in a way so hopefully they do them in a way where they're actually rewarding uh, and they you know hold some value instead of just spending a bunch of money and getting useless crap out of uh, loot boxes that you know you just kind of blowing your money on so uh, the maximum class level a hero can ascend to uh, is restricted based on the hero's generation for example only heroes that are generation 5 or above can reach class level 5 uh, so as they talk about epic heroes uh, and these are basically like the characters that are like really iconic in the game uh, so mechanically epic heroes will have um, the same stats and class system as other heroes but cannot participate in rituals such as wishing soul bonding or ascension uh, but they can be used in defira's game modes like any other hero uh, so they also go over uh, some hero nomics here um, which is a new word that I haven't heard before. So the Fira wishing ritual is inspired by breeding mechanics in other NFT games like Axie Infinity, DFK, and uh, Crabda, whatever uh, that is. I've never heard of that. Um, with the benefits of hindsight, there are common feedback with the Heronomics of these games. So NFTs uh, are high cost, which become a high barrier for new players uh, to even get started, as well as the NFT supply eventually uh, inflates, which decreases increases the incentive to breed I think DFK is a great example of uh, the cost being very high um, as a high barrier entries for those new players uh, personally when I got into DFK and I seen that really like the cheapest hero at the time was like $300 there was literally no way that I was gonna just drop $300 on something I've never uh, even dealt with so I think having a, a way where you can get a you know very cheap hero to start interacting with the game and kind of you know dip your toe in the water to kind of see if you're going to even enjoy it uh, is a much better way to go uh, to bring in a lot of new players uh, instead of just the hardcore ones that are probably already uh, neck deep um, you know overextended with their um, capital in the game uh, so Defira's Ascension System uh, attempts to solve the two issues above. Heroes of lower levels can be made uh, more available, reducing the barrier of entry for new players. However, the soul bonding and Ascension mechanics counteract the high availability of lower class level heroes, as there is an increased incentive to continually uh, wish for new heroes to level up existing ones. Defira's gameplay system will attempt to balance between vertical and horizontal hero scaling. Some game modes may encourage vertical scaling, uh, while other game modes might encourage horizontal scaling uh, game modes may also encourage system or are sorry encourage game modes may also encourage strategy or teamwork allowing uh, a way for players with lower level heroes to still compete with whales 
Uh, so this article is an initial introduction to the Defira's hero system. Later articles will explore hero's jobs and full details about the Genesis Mint event. So um, like I said, we will be definitely covering these articles when they come out. Uh, so, you know, if you guys want to stay up to date with this game uh, and it's something that really interests you and you enjoyed uh, this kind of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope that this article gave you a good insight on, um, you know, Defira's whole hero system i think that they are doing a great job of kind of making their own lane and taking their own little spin on um the formula that's kind of already been around uh, i was very much hoping when this project was announced that it wasn't going to be a kind of copy paste of dfk so it's nice to see they're having their own systems and their own kind of take on on this genre so um very excited to see what comes out in the future for defira um i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and leave a comment letting me know what you guys think uh, about the project as well if you guys enjoyed the video uh so that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys in the next one and until then peace